everybody, welcome back to another edition of Survival Minecraft. Yeah, I could have kept going, but I decided not to, for your sake. So look, bam, got our bank here. The Rattlesnake Credit Union. <laughs> Put these item frames up there. These still look really weird to me. Let's see here. This is what it looks like on the inside if it'll let us in. The bank vault. Put that up there instead of one of these. I think that looks way cooler, even though they don't line up. But it is what it is. So you walk in. Like so. Put a pressure blade down here so it's a lot easier to get out of. I think it's look really cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Probably end up putting a pressure plate here too. Just because this button is kind of annoying to hit. Especially if you're trying to get out of here. Like that, see? Not fun. So, a couple things on the agenda today. First thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves... Get ourselves. Did I say that right? Yeah. Get ourselves a couple of things, including... Well, let's... Hopefully that's enough quartz to do what I think I want to do. Where did I put those? Did I put everything in here? Certainly hope I did. Oh, that's so annoying. Get in there. Ah, yes. Okay. So, I got myself some chests. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Everything's in here. Yep, yep, yep. Ready, coo, ready, coo, ready, coo. All right. Well, we're locked ourselves up in the bank, so I feel moderately safe. Okay. So, let's see here. So when you walk in, you need a counter. You need somebody behind a counter. That's going to be helpful. So I'm going to build my counter out of quartz because it's fancy. Why do these not blend? Oh, that looks so weird. Oh, well, actually, I need that back. And we're going to go ahead and put... Hmm, we'll put that dirt there. Oh, didn't mean to double up on it. I'm going to turn my phone on vibrate real quick. There we go. Don't need that going off. I am expecting a couple different phone calls, so I may need to take a break. Look at that. That's so ugly. That did not look like that in creative. I did go in creative and just double check to make sure that this looks different. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. So here we go. Got ourselves a little bit of a counter. And to help hide the ugliness, this is an idea I had. We will put some of these down. Oh, well, it was working before. Hello? Oh, I guess we'll just do it that way. So that way there's a little bit of a thing, plus, bam. So you can put that up and go over here. And look at this. Put one over that. And it will still open and close. I like it. Was I going to put one there too? I think I was. But I don't have another one. So that's fine. But we got ourselves a nice little counter here. You know, when I was in creative, it was doing a couple different things. So I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, reacting differently. But I like it. I like the front of it. You know, nice wooden facade with a decent... I wish it was all white. It, I wish it was either all white or it was this color or this color. Make up your mind. That's my desire. All right, so we got some chests here, but we also need to make some trapped chest. And this is the recipe to make those uh, thingamabobs. So we need to find ourselves a crafting bench, which is out here. And I had the number written down. Here we go. Let me make some noise real quick. I need nine normal chests and six trapped chests if I did my math right. Ooh, got some glass. So we need three of these. These, uh, or we need six of them. We need uh, tripwire hooks. This is how you make trap chests. So basically you put down six chests and adjacent to it you put a tripwire hooked and you get yourself a trap chest. Now if you've never seen it, this is a regular chest. And I will show you what a trap chest looks like. Trap chest can be used for various redstone applications um, either good, ha, I swear I'm normally really good at these, <laughs> but it's because I'm recording that I'm not. Okay, so 
a trap chest, you know, you can you can set up booby traps and you can do all sorts of other things. So we're gonna have a trap chest there. Double double normal double chest there. Double there and one there. And then we'll just fill in the gaps. Okay, maybe that's why I didn't want that. Because it's gonna be really annoying. So we'll put the button back on there. Oh, at some point. Unless we just stand here. I guess if we just stand here, it's not bad. So here we go. This is all this. So, you know, trap chest has this little red thing on it, at least in this texture pack. But it allows you to stack these on top of each other. Normally you can't stack a chest on top of each other and still have them where you can use them. But that is a nice little thing that you can do. So this is our vault. That is our vault. And this is our counter. And I think that's about it. So what I'm planning on doing is, uh, you know, I, I kind of talked about it in the last couple episodes, is General Store will have most of my general stuff that I need. The saloon will have the food. This will probably have my precious minerals and materials. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of spreading things out, and uh, I don't know. We'll find something for the jail. There's some. There's still a few things I need to do to that, but I'm just not quite, uh, quite there yet. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and put this quartz down. And I'm going to make myself a cellar. And so what I did was I already dug it out. There's no reason for you to have to see that on camera. And I also had to sort of dig out my uh, floor here because it's causing these weird shadow things. And the reason for that is that I'm using half slabs. And so that causes some lighting glitches that are not good. Not good, but oh well, it is what it is. I'm not going to be too worried about it. But one of the things we need to do is we need to build... Where's my, do I not have a shovel? That would be very helpful at the moment. I think I had destroyed it digging this out. So one of the things that I'd like to do is I would like to dig myself a cellar that I can use with some doors. So there, we're gonna do that. And let's see, do it so you can just barely get in there, barely squeeze in. And that is kind of the idea. So I got some stone too. We'll mix in a stone block here and there. So it doesn't look so weird. So like, you know, there. But you know, it's gonna it's gonna look the way it's gonna look. You may not even notice, but it's all there. Because we're gonna put stairs in here as well. So let's see, let's dig this out. Take my time digging it out, of course. Put that there. All right, let's go up here. Oh, failed. That's all right. All right. And then we'll put one here, because why not? Even though we'll probably never see the light of day. And... Let's see, is this where I want to do this? I think it is. My cat is being really annoying right now. No, I can't get out doing that. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So I think we're going to need to make this come out of one more, which I'm not a fan of, but that's all right. Let me double check to make sure that's not going to look funny. Yeah, it's not going to look great, that's for sure. Um, can we not just start, can we not just start it here, or wait, here and then here, that's what I thought, that's what I thought, uh, but it's not going to allow us to come out like that, is it, new which niche, oh well, I guess we'll just keep on going down. That's all right. Down in a hole. We can get ourselves out though, like that. Again, I'm, I don't, you know, I'm not trying to be as realistic as possible when I build this stuff. Put that there, you know. Sometimes you got materials, sometimes you don't. And we'll just double up on that, you know. So it's got a little bit of a, you know rusty feel to it, but you know what, I need to take these out actually, because so I'm going to put 
I'll put some half slabbage down. Let's see. Let's do... Let's do this. Yeah. That's going to look very nice. It's going to look almost too fancy. These stone slabs look pretty sweet. Let's see. So that's going to allow me to come down and come in. Cool. That's what I thought. That's what I need. Okay. So I guess we need to put two more stairs down. Let's go ahead and fill this up with sand. Oh, it's got some weight to it still. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that is our entrance to our cellar. And, of course, what cellar would be complete without some doors going down. Got to keep our stuff protected. So there we go. You know, you can open up all of them, or if you just want to open them up one side, one side's going to get you going. And I know most open upwards, but mine, mine don't. I don't care. And you just close them like that. I don't know if I like the light leaking out so much, but I think we'll just have to live with it. I think we'll just have to live with it. Okay. So, wait. Nope. Oh, gotta come back up. Gotta come back up. Let's see. And get that. I had to go cut down some jungle wood. Despite me really wanting to. We might actually have to go get some more, uh... Whee! Get some more of this cobble. So that we're good to go on that. Um... Let's see here. Is that right? Yeah, it seems that way. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Just want to make sure that it's not going to make the floor look silly. I think it's good. I guess technically we don't need to put it through here, but I'm doing it anyways. Let's go double check, make sure that doesn't look weird. We're not sleeping either. We're kind of taking a chance. Look at that beautiful bank. Ah, that's going to look so nice with other buildings next to it. Okay. So I guess we could fix that lighting glitch if we were to just replace these with uh, full blocks, but... You know, I really don't care, but I kind of care at the same time. Oop. Pick it up. I guess we could always close these while we're working down here. Why not? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's take out the floor, I guess. Or could I just use half slappies on it? That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. There we go. Yeah, can I not just do that? Sort of. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why we couldn't just do that. If we've got the half slabs, why not use them? But we don't, so we're going to have to cut most of these down. Which is fine, I guess. Surely 34 is going to be enough. Or 24, not 34. Can't even count. Can't even read. That's the problem. All right. Am I going to break stuff by doing this? Probably. I probably am, but that's fine. Get rid of them lighting glitches. That's what I say. They're annoying. It's a wonderful day outside. I don't know what about you, but we got some pretty good weather here, so we go help somebody with a project here in a little while, so I'm trying to squeeze this video in. Trying to keep up on my videos. Um, I try to record my videos as close as to the date that they're going to be on YouTube. But honestly, uh, with as long as it takes my computer sometimes to make videos, uh, to basically render them, that kind of makes that really difficult for me to pull off. Oh yeah, that looks way better. And so, why does it look like this? Why does it look so strange? Oh, because I thought that was going to be the corner. That is not the case. Um, uh, I guess get rid of this. And so, uh, oh wait, no, 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 no. I need that because I like the look of the sand underneath. So yeah, that's why I was doing that. 
What about this? Okay, same here. So that's why it looks funny. Because we were building the wall here. Okay, well, let's just put that back. And again, so um, a lot of times I will record these sort of ahead of time. So, you know, a lot of times I try to be as topical and as up to date as possible. Uh, but that's kind of hard to do when it takes a couple hours for the videos to render. And of course, I've got other, you know, series going on and other stuff in my life. So uh, it's just kind of hard to keep up with everything, you know. So I do what I can. I do what I can. And let's see, let's just go randomly put these down first. Um, no one's ever going to see that if I do that. Hmm. Just do a little block like that. Okay, let's go. Uh, let me see if I've got any more stone anywhere. I think I got some in here. But again, so it's kind of hard for me to keep up with, you know, the pace that I'd like to. I'd like to be able just to record day of, like a lot of other people do. But sometimes that's not an option. Um, but you know, depending on my schedule, I do what I can. Um, that's not going to be enough. But. We'll use it, and then I'll figure out exactly how much I'll extra I need, and go find it. If I have to, I'll dig a hole. So again, the uh, the idea is hotel there, directly adjacent to that, and uh, we'll call it a fun house of ladies. <laughs> There's another name for it, but uh, I'll withhold that for the meantime. Let's see here. And of course, today I also want to give a shout out to one of my viewers. So we'll do that towards the end of the episode, as I did in the past. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to have to go get some stone. And you don't need to see that. I'm just going to go find uh, a random place to go dig over there, far, far away. And I'll be right back, okay? Well, looky there. Ran myself into some lava. That's weird. How far down am I? Ah, 45. Interesting. Didn't think I would be running into lava that time. And I, if I went lucky, I would have... If two, three blocks over, would have went right into it. I heard it, though. Heard it before I saw it. So, yeah, that was really strange. <laughs> really, really strange. Maybe we'll go exploring that a little bit later. But, yeah, dug myself a little stairwell here. Not too far away from town, but on the other side of the hill, for sure. So you can kind of see the town from here. But yeah, I just heard, started hearing blah, 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 blah. I was like, that's lava. I don't want to get anywhere near that, but I, stupid me, just kept going. I kept going, so I figured I'd show you that. Oh, we're nowhere near the uh, bridge here. What do you say? Do we just swim for it? Wait. Oh, get those ink sacks. Get them. Get a move. All right. Let's go back into the basement. There should be plenty. Gosh, I hope so. I wasn't really even counting. 58. I would think so. I would think so. Of course, it doesn't help that I fill in the corners that you'll never see. But that's just what I do. That is just what I do. Let's see here. This should be lit enough to where things don't look weird. Oh yeah, that's plenty. That's plenty. So this will be our little basement area. Uh, one thing I did want to do uh, also was to make it a little bit more realistic. You know how some people have floors that don't really support themselves very well. And they put in these little posts here. So it's like, we got this real nice foundational post. One thing I wanted to do is I just wanted to put a couple of posts in here, you know, to kind of signify that this place needs a little bit of help. And that's not one of them. That's not what I wanted to do. So we'll just say like, oh yeah, like, ah, <laughs> this is a definitely triple spot for Jason. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. We could brace it like that. That look cool. But yeah, just like kind of like, okay, that's every now and then. And then, uh, you know, this part of the floor right here isn't so great. Although, I feel like I need to not have sand underneath there. Maybe put like a cobblestone or something. Oops. I love the variety there. I love that is an option in Minecraft. And look at this. We got this nice little sandstone here. So yeah, like this is just kind of like, just random. 
Oh yeah, we're just we're just barely keeping this place together. <laughs> a lot of people walk on the floor. And of course, this place will just be full of chests when I'm done. So that is uh, sort of the cellar, the basement level. So is the difference between a cellar and a basement the fact that you access the cellar from the outside? I've never really officially known that, but I want to say that's probably the case. That's probably the case. Got to put these doors back. Knock these out on accident when we were digging out the floor. There we go. Got our things back. Decided to put a uh, double crafting bench here. I think it just looks cooler. Like, you know, when you walk up to it, like, oh, can I get this? And it's like, oh, sure thing, buddy. Plus, um, underneath the floor, it was looking weird because it was sort of a half slab situation. Okay, so oh, one thing that I need to do real quick is I need to go change the date on one of our tombstones. I believe the more recent one. I believe I put April instead of May. Time just flies. And that is via the person I will be giving a shout out to here in just a few minutes, so stay tuned for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can't travel back in time. So let's see here. Um, April, oh, no, this, I can't even remember. What is this? Episode 34.5. Uh, search for sheep. Is that really not going to let me put that there? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Search for sheep. And that was on May 12th. 2013. So there you go. Fixed. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Again, we'll talk about that here in just a second. Let's go in here and double check, make everything's good. Took out the chest there. Put those beds in there. Still think it looks fantastic. Oh yeah, this looks good. I like it. I like it. We got this up here, got our little bed, got a chest going on. I don't really think I have anything in here so far. There's really no reason to. Let's go ahead and put like 10 of those in there and put mm, four arrows. This will be like our backup thing. All right. Anything else in here that I need? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get this, collect this stuff up. Don't need that anymore. And I'm going to leave this stuff here because in the next episode, most likely we'll get started on that hotel. Although I'm maybe going to wait on the hotel because I kind of want to wait for... No, we need those. Kind of want to wait for the... What am I thinking of here? Uh, stained clay block. I was kind of considering building something out of that. But I'm not 100% sure yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that's going to do it for that part of the episode. So again, just for review. Oh wait, we need to get that button back, don't we? Where did I put that button? I think the button's over here. So we'll go grab that button. I just wanted to show you this again. So this is our counter. You come in, you get your money. Cash register right there. Nothing in it right now. Nothing in the bank vault either. I'm Poe. Actually, I've just got stuff way over there that I need to bring over. And we will do that in the next episode. Need to replace this too. Oh, is that glitching out? Pretty sure it was. Let's see here. Button. All right. Although I might leave it the way it is because if you just stand there and kind of go like this, you'll be good to go. But. Again, this is part of the episode where I give a shout out. Let's see here. Special thanks to Draconicity. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce that. We'll just call him Draco for short. Uh, big help in my Timber and Stone series does send me uh, comments and private messages to let me know about a couple things that I've just sort of been rambling about that I've never gotten around to. So I do want to thank him or her, I believe it's a guy, for uh, their help. And so they get added to the list of names here at the bar. So again, uh, Dr. Sickles, Pippin MC, and uh, Draco. These guys really, really helping me out 
with either support or just uh, information. And that's a, a really big thing to me. So I just wanted to give them uh, give them some props. So again, got different colored chairs in here because, you know, bar fights do happen. They do happen. I have been in a couple myself. Those are stories for other days. Usually stepping in when a guy gets uh, gets a little out of hand. Usually has to do with the ladies. So I try to do the right thing in those situations. Um... What kind of slab is that? That's not jungle wood by any means. Hmm. Did I just completely skip past it up here? I want to say it's... Is it oak wood? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it is. No. Maybe it is jungle wood. It just looks funny out here. Oh, I think it is. Yep, it is. So that's fixed. Ding! Oh, it's getting nighttime, so I think I'm going to run to bed and call it an episode. Thanks for watching. This is JPT. Like the video if you liked what you saw, like what you're seeing so far. If you got any suggestions or maybe just some general comments, by all means, leave those in the comments. That's what it's for. And subscribe. That helps me out a lot as well. So until next time, this is JPT. Survival Minecraft, Wild West style. And I'll be seeing you.